Welcome back to Quick Films. Today I'm going to explain a French horror comedy film called Some Like It Rare, released in the year 2021. Spoilers ahead, like the video and subscribe. The movie opens up with a married couple, Vincent and Sophie Pascal, who run a butcher shop. Despite selling fresh and quality meat, their butcher shop is not making much profits. One day, while Vincent is preparing some meat, a group of vegan protesters rush into their shop and spill paint all over it. They even damaged their interior and ruined the meat stored there. Vincent tries to stop them, but the group attacks him and runs away. But not before Vincent pulls out one of the protesters' masks. Later, Sophie is with her friend, Stephanie, at her house. As Vincent has done nothing special for Sophie, it has not even managed to provide her a gift since long, Stephanie suggests she leave Vincent as she deserves to be treated better. Here, we get to know that Stephanie's husband, Mark, is a rich man and makes a lot of money from the butcher business. The couple boasts about their earnings and their new properties, making Sophie and Vincent jealous. Mark also belittles Vincent and mentions that they are planning to open their fourth butcher shop. Before leaving, Mark provides Vincent with a shotgun as a gift to threaten the vegan protesters who will attempt to attack their shop again. On their way back to their house, Sophie tells Vincent that she wants to separate from him, making Vincent angry. Suddenly, he notices a young boy riding a bicycle and recognizes him as one of the protesters who attacked their store. Angry, Vincent immediately decides to take revenge on the boy. He reverses his car, causing it to run over the boy and kill him instantly. The couple gets out of the car to inspect the boy's dead body and gets afraid after seeing it in a very bad condition. Vincent suggests they inform the cops about the accident, but Sophie warns him that they will get into bigger trouble if they inform the cops as they also have a shotgun in their trunk. She then suggests they cut the dead body into small pieces and throw it in different places. Later at night, Vincent can be seen reluctantly cutting the dead body into several pieces. Suddenly, while he's chopping the body parts, an ear slips and falls on the floor. Wasting no time, Vincent's dog eats the piece of human ear. Seeing this, Vincent gets surprised and he provides his dog with another piece of the ear, which it finishes immediately. The next day, Vincent wakes up late in the morning and reaches his shop. He then inquires with Sophie if she has succeeded in selling any of the meat items since the morning. Before Sophie can say anything in reply, a female customer, Coinard, arrives there and requests Sophie to provide her with the same meat which she gave her earlier that morning. She also mentions that the ham is of great quality and the taste is also very unique and appealing. Vincent tries to persuade her to buy another brand of meat, but she insists on getting the same. Sophie urges Vincent to provide her with the meat and even asks for a piece to taste. When Vincent gives her a piece of taste, Sophie's taken aback and states that the meat has a great taste. Coiner asks Vincent about the type of meat and he replies that the meat is actually Iranian pork. Shortly after Coiner leaves, Sophie approaches Vincent and inquires about the real supplier of the meat. Finally, Vincent reveals that the meat is of the vegan boy, which they killed the day before. After saying this, he tries to remove the chunk of meat from the shop, but Sophie stops him and tells him that the meat is so tasty that they should not waste it by throwing it away. She also suggests Vincent try a little bit of it. When they're busy talking, Another customer arrives there and asks for the same piece of ham that they provided to Coinart. Following this, a number of customers buy the meat from their shop and their sales increase rapidly. Even a police officer stops by their shop asking for the same meat. At night, Vincent cooks a slice of the meat and decides to try it. He's mesmerized by the taste and cannot resist eating more. Sophie also arrives there and tells Vincent that the meat is so tasty that if they sell it for double the current price, people will buy it. She also suggests they keep hunting the vegans and sell their meat to protect their shop, but Vincent somewhat refuses to do so. The next morning, Vincent and Sophie are visited by their daughter Chloe and her boyfriend Lucas. Vincent prepares a delicious meal for them, but when he tries to serve it, Chloe tells him that Lucas is actually a vegan. Lucas refuses to eat even mushrooms and drink wine. The couple is surprised when they get to know that because of Lucas' influence. Chloe has also given up meat and turned vegan. Chloe and Lucas drink just a cup of coffee and leave the place. Later, Vincent and Sophie can be seen in a vegan restaurant trying to find a properly shaped vegan for the purpose of killing and selling their meat. The couple looks around the restaurant but faces difficulties finding a joyful and stress-free vegan. Later, when they inquire about the different dishes, they come across the owner of the restaurant, who is also a vegan. Vincent then decides to kill the owner and follows him to his apartment, carrying a butcher knife. When he enters his building, he tries to attack the owner, but chickens out when the owner starts shouting out loud. Afraid, Vincent aborts his plan and escapes from the place. After returning back to his car, 
Vincent lies to Sophie, telling her that he attacked the owner, but his neighbor appeared out of nowhere and he's compelled to run away. Sophie, on the other hand, figures out that Vincent actually chickened out and suggests him to be a serial killer if he really wishes to save his shop. The following day, Vincent and Sophie take part in a vegan protest program and advise people to stop eating meat. Here, the couple meets with a vegan named Joshua who appreciates their protest and mentions that he will introduce them with his other friends. After some time, Vincent and Sophie can be seen waiting for Joshua at a place ready to kill him. Unfortunately, Joshua arrives there with two of his friends, Hamer and Camille, and seeing this, Vincent aborts his plan. The couple is about to return home, but when Hamera tells him that she has the keys to a famous butcher shop of the town and is planning to destroy it tonight, Vincent stops and joins their team. With Vincent by their side, Sophie is also forced to join them. At night, the group reaches one of Mark's butcher shops and Vincent gets excited to destroy it. Despite Sophie's trying to stop him, Vincent follows the vegan group and enters the shop to smash the things and burn it down. After that, Vincent and Sophie can be seen having dinner at a restaurant where the couple get into a heated argument. Angry, Vincent walks away from there, leaving Sophie alone. As soon as Vincent leaves, a waiter from the restaurant approaches Sophie and starts flirting with her. Later, the waiter drops Sophie home and tries to talk with her. Just then, Sophie gets to know that the waiter is actually a vegan. She then flirts back with the waiter and brings him inside the home. Vincent gets angry at her for bringing a stranger home, but she tells him that they can kill him and use his meat as he is a vegan. Soon, when Vincent walks out of his room and finds the waiter naked, talking shit about his wife, he gets angry and attacks the waiter with a flower vase. He smashes the waiter's head with a vase until he dies. Following this, the couple chops the dead body into several pieces and seems very happy doing this. The next day, Sophie gets a call from her friend Stephanie, who informs her about their shop being destroyed. Despite being the ones who destroyed the shop, Sophie and Vincent visit Stephanie and express their sympathy for them. As the sale in their shop has increased rapidly, the couple decides to kill more vegans and continue their streak. They call a vegan boy named Winnie to meet at a place and plan to kill him. But before they can do so, Winnie finds out about their truth and tries to run away into the woods. Unfortunately, he suffers from a heart attack and dies on the spot. In the next scene, Vincent and Sophie visit Stephanie's house and ask them to try their best-selling meat. As expected, Mark likes the taste of the meat and asks Vincent about the supplier. Vincent, on the other hand, refuses to give any information about the supplier, mentioning Mark to be his competition in the business. Hearing this, Mark makes fun of Vincent and tells him that he can never earn a lot of money like he does. Soon, a fight ensues between the two, and during the tussle, Vincent bites off Mark's ear and starts chewing it. Mark and Stephanie both become surprised seeing this, and soon, Vincent spits out the air, suggesting Mark to eat more veggies. Afterward, Vincent and Sophie can be seen at a vegan party, searching for their next target. Surprisingly, they meet Lucas and Chloe, who get surprised seeing them at a vegan party. Lucas inquires with them about what they're doing at the vegan party. In reply, Vincent tells him that after their previous encounter, they have been questioning about their profession and planning to turn vegan soon. Hearing this, Lucas yells at them, mentioning that they haven't closed their butcher shop yet. He also mentions a number of vegan people vanishing in the past days and assumes it's all being done by the butcher's group or the farmers. Lucas decides to stand for the vegan people and shoes Vincent and Sophie away from the party. Meanwhile, all this is being observed by Camille sitting afar smoking a cigarette. Outside the party, Sophie notices a black chubby girl and Vincent runs behind her to kill him. Though the girl tries her best to escape, she eventually gets scaled by the cruel couple. At night, while Vincent is preparing the girl's meat, the police officer, Gendarm, arrives at its shop looking for the Iranian pork meat. Vincent tells the officer that they're out of stock, but the officer enters his shop and starts looking around. However, Vincent pretends to be suffering from a panic attack and sends Gendarm away. With the police officer incident, Vincent gets afraid and tells Sophie that they should stop doing all this. With regret all over his face, he tells Sophie that he has started feeling weird and needs to stop what they're doing before they turn into psychopaths and cannibals. Sophie does not agree with Vincent, but he mentions that he wants to leave everything before getting caught. Suddenly, the doorbell rings, and when they open the door, they're surprised to see Lucas standing outside. Lucas apologizes to the couple for his behavior earlier at the vegan party. In the meantime, Sophie signals Vincent to kill Lucas, but he controls himself and sends Lucas out of his house. The next day, all of the customers return from their shop when Vincent tells them that there is no Iranian meat and that the supplier has actually retired. After the customers leave, Vincent also walks out of the shop with his dog. While Sophie is alone in the shop, 
Joshua, along with Camille and Amara, arrive there and attack Sophie after finding that she's actually a butcher. In the evening, when Vincent returns back to his shop, he's taken aback to see his shop closed and also finds the vegan group's van near his shop. On the other hand, the vegan group kidnaps Sophie and threatens her to spit out the truth about what she did with all those vegans who died recently. When Camille is about to kill Sophie, Vincent arrives there and kills Hamera and his dog attacks Camille. Joshua, however, gives Vincent a tough fight and inserts a screwdriver through his chest. However, Sophie manages to free herself and kills Joshua with a meat hanging hook. In the last scene, it's shown that Sophie and Vincent have finally been arrested for their crimes. And the ones who informed the police are none other than Mark and Stephanie. Mark tells the interviewer that he suspected and started investigating Vincent's business since the day he bit off his ear and chewed it. The movie ends with the interviewer mentioning that the Pascal couple has been punished with a life sentence.